Hi, welcome to the game plan. I'm Rico. I'm Lindsay. We're going to be doing an unboxing of Chocolate Factory. This just arrived yesterday. yesterday. Um, thought you guys might want to see what uh, kind of components in the game in general. Um, we backed this quite some time ago. It was a few months back, but I don't think that it's been a late um, a late uh, fulfillment. No, it just takes a long time. Yeah, I mean, it just takes time for the Kickstarter stuff to come. But I, as far as like when they promised to deliver it and when it actually arrived, I don't think it's really late. I think this is, in fact, it feels a little bit early. Or at least it doesn't feel like it's as long as a lot of Kickstarters yeah. are. <laughs> uh, so this this is nice. I love the um, the siding that they put on that. I've received several boxes recently that don't have that kind of packaging and it, it ruined, I mean, I've, I've had boxes ruined that way, so this is... I like it because oh, it's nice. not a bunch of bubble wrap. Yeah, that too. Or a box seven times the size yeah. that's needed. Um, so here it is, the... The Deluxe Edition. The Deluxe Edition. It looks pretty nice. Um, Got a sleeve. Okay. What? Careful. Um, it's got a sleeve. I'm, I'm, I'm not generally a big fan of the sleeve. Um, just. I don't see the point of it. I don't either. It just I mean, seems extra to take off. Yeah, it's, it's like a display purposes thing. But to me, I never enjoyed them on DVDs either. Yeah, I. To me, the box art looks just as good, if not better. Yeah. I don't know. I, kind of like they did it, kind of like a chocolate bar, though. Like it. I guess. Like a chocolate bar. I, get, I mean, I guess I get that, but. That's cuter, though. I find beauty and functionality. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, it looks very nice. The box is nice and sturdy. Uh, no damage whatsoever, so that looks good. Nice artwork. It's very shiny. I don't know if you guys can see the shine. But there's like different textures like so this the chocolate bar cover here is a different texture than this right here and there's like these little cookies and stuff that are flying out of the factory that there's a different texture on them very cool okay so we have the rule book looks pretty good okay yes I like when they have all the components listed here on the side mm. Basic setup. Is there a basic? Uh, I like to see. I like. I generally like to see. And when you're done setting up, it will look like this on your table. But I'm not really seeing that. But there are lots of pictures, and everything seems to be laid out in some sort of order. I don't want to say logical because I can't say for sure. But it. I mean, it looks pretty good for as as far as rule books go. I don't think it'll be too difficult to, to figure out what to do. Is I don't think it's a heavy game so there's that too um so we have a bookkeeping board here nice nice thick component folds out iconography looks pretty good um some minor printing textures or whatever on this too so it's pretty nice yeah this these components are, are pretty good the uh cardboard pieces are I don't know, relatively thick. I don't know if you can see that there. But yeah, they're nice and sturdy. So, cardboard coins. It's a little disappointing for I, a deluxe edition. I thought there were metal coins on this, is there not? Um, I don't see any metal coins. Mm -hmm. So these, this is pretty cool though. Okay, so this is a dual layered um, factory board that every player is gonna get one of them. It looks like that is cool. The I'm guessing these little things will, yeah, they fit in here and just slide along. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> um, don't really know much about the game, so I, I, I mean, I could be totally wrong, and that's just coincidental. But um, I mean, it would make sense that you're 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 moving things along in your factory. So that's pretty cool. Man, these components are they're nice. Yeah, nice chunky I like, I like little chunky wooden components. Look like. Uh, Little candy bars, the nougat in there. 
More candy bars. Oh, different types of candy bars mm -hmm. with different types of nougat in there. Fun. Wow, this is quite the elaborate. I'm guessing that's a first player marker there. Well, there's this as well. Oh. So I don't know. So, they're not exactly the same color. I guess I could look in the rule book to see what they are. The first player marker is the candy bar. And then one day marker. And this is the one day marker. I'm not exactly sure what one day is in this game, but... We'll figure it out. I, I assume it's significant in some way. There's really not a whole lot... I mean, as far as like, it doesn't look like it's going to be a sprawling game. It looks like it's pretty self-contained, which is mm. cool. A few cards, a board. Each player gets their own little board, so it doesn't look like there's a community board. I Yeah, this is looks like it's going to be... Kind of one of those lightish little engine builders, maybe, or something like that. Looks good. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing it. Mm -hmm. Me too. Cool. Well, that was pretty simple. I don't know how much there is to this game. I mean, I, I know it's a relatively simple game, but I'm like, how, is it even worth looking at some of this stuff? I don't know what they do. Yeah. I mean, they, are they all different? I would imagine they're like contracts or, yeah, there's recipes or something. Yeah, I think these are like upgrades. You can make it so that a leaf can turn into these yellow things, or these bars can turn into the. Yeah, I don't know, but I mean the components are are really nice. Well, there you go. There's the unboxing of uh, Chocolate Factory. Simple but interesting. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys.